Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial we explain how to install Gazebo Simulation Package in Ubuntu 24.04 and how to run a simulation of a quadcopter or a drone that you can see over here. Over here I'm running a teleoperation node and I can move my drone or my quadcopter by pressing these keyboard keys. If I want to move forward, I simply need to press W and I can move forward. If I want to move back, I need to press S. Then if I want to go up, I need to press Q. And if I want to go down, I need to press E. Then you can go left, that is you can rotate the quadcopter or you can rotate the quadcopter right by pressing either A or D. And you have a complete simulation of the quadcopter and it's also important to mention that this is a physically realistic simulation namely you can clearly see that we have inertia in our system and if you go like this just back and forth the altitude of the drone will be decreased also at the end of this video tutorial i will explain you how to locate the file of this simulation such it, such that you can investigate them and such that you can learn more on how to generate this simulation and how to modify this model and for example you can also couple this model with robot operating system and you can generate really realistic simulation of drones or you can do even some obstacle avoidance you can add the camera here you can do for example autonomous flying etc the possibilities are enormous actually and everything over here is open source and you can do crazy things with this software but before we start with explanations, we need to mention the following. If you need help with your engineering problem or you need tutoring or to develop new skills in the fields of machine learning, robotics, robot operating system, optimization, multi-physics simulation, programming, C++, Python, we are here to help. We solve engineering problems and provide tutoring as well as skill development services. We have significant industry research and university level teaching experience. Our industry and research work was funded by NASA, DOD and a number of companies and individuals. You can find our contact information in the description below this video. Ok, let's start immediately. The first step is to install Gazebo. For that purpose, you need to go to this official web page of Gazebo. Here it is. And then scroll down and click here on Get Started. Or you can immediately go to this web page. And over here, it's very important to choose the proper Gazebo version. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to install and use Harmonic LTS. Harmonic LTS is a gazebo version that's compatible with ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco and ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco is the newest version of ROS. Furthermore, we are going to use Ubuntu 24.04 to install gazebo. We are mainly using this version of Ubuntu since ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco needs to run on this Linux version. Again, make sure that this gazebo version is active. Then click here on install and over here we are going to select binary install. You also have the source installation, however source installation involves compilation and it's much more complex and resource and it requires more resource. Consequently, let's proceed with binary installation and first of all we need to open a terminal. So click here and search for terminal. Then I'm going to resize this window and my terminal such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time we can together follow this manual. Let me do this. Perfect. Okay, we need to execute a series of commands. First of all, whenever you want to do something in Ubuntu, you want to install a new package, you need to run sudo apt get update. So let's run this. Okay, here you need to wait, and after this command, I usually write and execute sudo apt 
get, let me just write it nicely, sudo apt get upgrade. Here, they didn't suggest to execute this. However, it's always a good practice to execute this command after sudo apt get update. So let's run this and click on yes, and this will take some time on your computer. So be patient. And now everything is being read and the installation will start unpacking. This will take some time, so be patient. If you don't execute this, for example, command for a month, this whole process might take even five minutes. And here it is. Now we are ready to continue. Next, you need to execute this. Okay, let's continue. Then we need to install Gazebo Harmony. First of all, we need to execute this line. Then we need to execute this line. Then we need to execute again sudo apt update. And after that, we will install Gazebo by simply typing sudo apt get install Gazebo Harmonic. So let's do that and let's execute this. Click on yes and now be patient. This will take quite some time. Okay, let's test the installation. To test the installation, let's execute this. This will actually start Gazebo and it will load this model called shapes.sdf and over here, I will use this additional parameter. So let's run this and let's see what will happen. This additional parameter will enable us to see this screen and to see the debugging process. And over here, you will see these one, two, three, four, five, six shapes. Now, these shapes are actually modeled and there is some dynamics involved. And let's run this simulation and let's see what will happen. So if I click here, I will run the simulation and you will see over here that things are happening. And over here again, you can see that this egg-shaped object fell down. We can reset the simulation by clicking here and let's run again and let's see it. Okay, this will take some time and bang, the object falls down. Good. This means that we have properly installed Gazebo simulation and we can continue with quadcopter simulation. Good. Next, let's close the simulation window and let's go back to the terminal. Next, let's run the quadcopter simulation. To run the quadcopter simulation, simply type GS sim or GZ sim and this Gazebo quick start menu will open and over here you have several options. You need to click over on Quadcopter Teleop. Teleop stands for teleoperation. Over here you also have some other models and you can explore them or if you can, cannot find Quadcopter simulation over here, you will be able to find it over here by just searching for the Quadcopter. Okay, so let's see. Click here and click on Run. And let's see what happens. Now you have to be patient. Depending on how powerful and fast is your computer, this will take some time. Good. And over here you will see the starting menu and here is your quadcopter. If you don't see the quadcopter, as I didn't see it over here, you need to zoom out. To zoom out, you need to use basically the middle rolling mouse key, simply roll it backward or forward. Another approach to zoom in or zoom out is to press and hold the right mouse key and move the mouse up or down. Another approach is also to pan the view. To pan the view, you need to press the left mouse button and move left and right, and here it is. And to rotate, you need to press the middle mouse button and you need to move the mouse. Okay, so here is our drone. You can see it over here. Now, let me now adjust the view so you can see it. To run this simulation, you need to click here and the simulation will start. Now, nothing is happening over here and this is normal since you didn't enter any commands. To enter the commands, click here on keyboard 
and you can see the instructions. Okay, so let's go up. To go up, you need to press Q. And you can see if you press Q, the rotors will start and you will be able to move up. Then, to move down, you can see over here, you need to press E. So you can go up or down by pressing Q and E. And you can see that actually there is inertia associated with the system. Because if I just press Q for some time and release it, you can see the drone is going to de-accelerate, which is very important. Then you can move left, or you can better to say rotate left or right by using A or D. And you can actually go forward and backward by using W or S. And that's it. This is our simulation. Over here you can see several important things. We can see actually that we have a topic over here. That is these messages are being sent through this topic. And later on I'm going to open the file that actually simulates this quadcopter and we are going to analyze this file and I'm going to explain you briefly how you can integrate this file with ROS. Okay, let's close this simulation window and let's go back to the command prompt. Next, I will explain you how to locate this file that implements this simulation or at least one file of this simulation that implements the drone model. But before we do that, we actually need to install a very useful Linux tool for searching. The name of this tool is plocate. To install plocate you need to type sudo apt install plocate. And here it is. And after that run this sudo update db to update the search database for plocate. plocate is a very powerful tool for searching for files and folders on Ubuntu systems. Okay. To use plocate to find our file just type plocate and search for quadcopter. And let's try to find it. We can see that it's over here in this folder. In fact, Gazebo store the simulation model or worlds in this folder. And I strongly suggest you to investigate the files in this folder. In addition to plocate, we will also need another tool. And this tool is gedit. Gedit is used to edit the files. So you need to type sudo apt again install gedit and it's not correct here install ops install gedit and here it is okay next let's go to this address or better to say let's automatically edit this file you can simply type this and then say gedit and here it is and here is the file this file is very similar to URDF files that ROS is using. This is just a gazebo file that is the SDF files. And you can see over here a lot of stuff. You can see max step size, real time factor, that is you can see some physics simulations and you can see the plugins. You can see gazebo simulation physics system. Here's the plugin for simulating the system. Here you can see some other plugins for broadcast, broadcasting, then you can see file names here, plugins, sensor system, and over here you can actually even see the model. First of all, the ground plane is modeled. You can see how it's being modeled. Then over here you have this file. This will be, this file is actually being included. Then you have this plugin for simulating multi-copter motor system that is let me just go back this file most likely implements the model of quadcopter i will explore this later on and confirm this in future tutorials and over here you can see the gazebo model for the motor and you can see some motor parameters you can even find the moment constant, the motor constant, which are very important parameters. You can also find the rotor drag coefficients. So it's really, really realistic. You can model everything over here. And then you can see for another motor, for another motor, and for another motor, since our system has four motors. Here they are. Perfect. 
In the next video tutorials, I will explain how to write a ROS node that will simulate this system. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Also on my YouTube channel, you have more than 700 free video tutorials on different topics. For example, you have tutorials related to robot operating system, to machine learning, to signal processing and control engineering. Thank you very much and have a nice day.